the 25th of May, 4.40 and former Super Rugby player Michael Hobbs has detailed in his column for the New York Times how Trump's stance on NFL protests has impacted his charity project of building a school in Kenya. Among those protesting police brutality and racial injustice were 10 players from the New Orleans Saints who sat on the bench during the national anthem. My good friend Kenny Vaccaro was one of them. We had no idea, however, that Kenny's decision would incite such rage in our donors that it would hinder our project to help kids in Kenya. Hobbs, the son of former All Black Jock Hobbs, met New Orleans Saints player Kenny Vaccaro while receiving treatment at the University of Texas during his playing career and the two struck up a friendship. Inspired by his late father's philanthropy, Hobbs began charity work in Kenya following his abrupt retirement from rugby. He began the Blessed Hope Project and my mission was to raise $300,000 to buy land in Kibra and build a primary school for the more than 200 children I had been teaching in a dirty, overcrowded church hall. Kenny wanted to help. As a celebrity in Louisiana, he could raise money. So we launched the Kenny Vaccaro Foundation in March 2017 with a personal contribution from Kenny of $25,000. Within six months, the foundation had received pledges totaling $50,000. I had raised an additional $125,000 from outside donors. Kenny pledged another $100,000 then came that football game one Sunday afternoon in Charlotte last September. During an NFL game against the Green Bay Packers, 10 members of the Saints including Baccaro kneeled in protest during the national anthem. After the protest, half the members on our foundation's board resigned and asked that their donations be returned. Our fundraising banquet, scheduled for last October 17, was cancelled. Despite pleas from Baccaro to change the board members' minds, the requests fell on deaf ears. The funding cut has led to a $75,000 shortfall despite the construction of the school set to begin in a few months. Hobbs is hoping to have the money by January. Kenny Vaccaro became a free agent at the end of the season and remains unsigned. For his part, Kenny has not been signed by any NFL team even though he was considered one of the premier free agents heading into the offseason. Does this have anything to do with his protests? We have both learned a lesson about the collateral damage of pettiness and polarization. Kids in a Nairobi slum pay the price. Read the full column by Michael Hobbs here. In other news, watch every game of Super Rugby streaming live on RugbyPass.com, home of the world's best global rugby coverage including news, highlights, previews, 